Hi everyone, this is Kristen and today I'm here with a remarkably protective new Presidio 2 Armor Cloud Case by Spec for iPhone 11. With 16 feet of drop protection, a full 3 feet more than the Presidio Pro, this case is slim, beautiful, and a pleasure to have on your phone. It's not completely perfect, but it's still really impressive. Let's take a closer look. One of the first things you're going to want to do when you first take this out of the box is to remove the back protector on it. So this case does come with a back protector, which is kind of unusual. First, I didn't know whether there was one on there or not. I could see these odd little bubbles on the back, which made it look like there must be a protector on there, but I couldn't see where to take it off. There is actually a little tab up here. Don't know why I didn't see it before, but definitely you're going to want to peel that off before you go any further. Otherwise, you will not be able to appreciate the full beauty of your Presidio 2 Armor Cloud. Way, way more beautiful with that off. So construction-wise, we are looking at a really, really lightweight case. Got a bunch of polycarbonate in here, as well as some TPU and probably some materials that I don't know the names of. This has a glossy back finish. Definitely going to have a tendency to scratch, unfortunately. Glossy sides as well. You can see these little airbags here when you look inside there. That's this Armor Cloud technology. So Spec seems to have abandoned the Impactium that they've used on previous generations of Spec cases. Now it's all Armor Cloud, and that's what this series of airbags that we have on the sides are. This is what allows this to be a very protective case while being so thin. So it's quite a rigid case as well as lightweight, it has a nice feel in the hand, although it does make an interesting sort of crackle noise when you put your phone in. I guess that that is the airbags kind of squishing down. So in terms of size, this is basically the same size as a regular Presidio case from the previous generation, not the Presidio 2, I don't have one of those, it's just a regular Presidio Pro. But you can see it's basically the same size, but this has got 16 feet of drop protection as opposed to the 13 feet that you had with the Presidio Pro. And I believe also the Presidio 2 Pro also just has 13 feet of drop protection. So it's really impressive that this case is going to have 16 feet of drop protection. That's even more protection than the Spec Presidio Sport. And the Spec Presidio Sport is way bigger than this Presidio 2 Armor Cloud. The Spec Presidio Sport gives you 15 feet of drop protection as opposed to the 16 you are getting with this almost impossibly thin and light case. So really good job there by Spec. Putting your phone in this case is really easy. Just put on the one side, slide on the other corners. This is a nice easy on, easy off case. Once on, we've got a great fit on here, except at the bottom. Everywhere else, we've got an excellent fit, like just about zero give, even in tricky areas like around the buttons. But the bottom, I'm seeing a lot of give here. And to tell you the truth, I think that this one is actually possibly defective because when I was looking at it, it looks to me like there's a tiny bit of separation with this black rubber here at the bottom from the polycarbonate. So I think that the fact that I have so much give here is because this is not actually right. So perhaps we can't blame the folks at spec for this. But at any rate, everywhere else we've got a fantastic fit, really nice. We've got a high protective lip around the phone. I do currently have a screen protector on here that's edge to edge. This is the Rhino Shield 3D Impact Screen Protector. It's a very thin edge to edge screen protector because it is not a tempered glass one. It's one of those fancy polymer ones. Fits really well with this case. Looking down here at our port openings, everything looks good, nicely positioned, nicely sized. Should be able to fit many third-party lightning cables here, although of course this case does support wireless charging, so you might find you're using that functionality less than you otherwise would. Going around to the sides here, so we don't have much in the way of grip here. This is a glossy case, kind of a slippery case in the hand, keep that in mind. Going up here to our buttons, super outstanding, really excellent. These might be the best spec buttons that I've ever touched. They did a really good job. They did some sort of improvement on the buttons, making them even better. And normally spec buttons are really quite good already. 
Looking here at our mute switch, that is easy to access. Looking at our view from the top, everything's looking good there. And then looking over here, again, another just wonderful button. They just did a great job on here. So they've got a really nice slim form factor on here, particularly for that 16 feet of drop protection. And everything fits great on here. Looking at the back of the case, everything looks really pretty here. We've got a large expanse of glossy polycarbonate. Looks beautiful, but of course is quite vulnerable to fingerprints and scratches, even though we do have an anti-scratch coating on here. That's only going to help so much, so try to be gentle with it and carry a microfiber cloth. That's about all that you can do. In terms of style, we have a solid black here on the back, and then we've got these little fade marks here, which transition to the sides. It's really quite attractive. Looks really nice. Notice that we have these things that look like ridges along the sides. Those are not ridges. Those are actually the Armor Cloud airbags on the interior. This is smooth here, so it's not going to give you any additional grip. Overall, we don't have much grip with this case because it's just a glossy polycarbonate case on the exterior. So if you're looking for a grippy case, this is probably not for you. We are not going to have any issue with wireless charging and you're going to get extra protection with the lifetime microband that this has that should protect against bacteria which cause stain and odors and we do have plenty of protection here for your protruding camera it's really quite deeply inset so that is excellent and then finally of course we do have that 16 feet of drop protection that I previously mentioned absolutely amazing for such a slim case so overall I think that this is a great choice if you're looking for a super protective case for your iPhone 11 if you're the kind of person who's really concerned when your case gets scratches or fingerprints on it this might not be the best choice but other than that I think that there's a lot to love with the Spec Presidio 2 Armor Cloud for iPhone 11. Again, we've been looking at the Spec Presidio 2 Armor Cloud for iPhone 11. This case is available directly from Spec as well as from other retailers, and it's on the pricey side at $59.95. It comes in the black blue sided version featured in this review, as well as a black with black sides and a black with gray sides version. Many thanks to the kind folks at Spec for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And please do consider subscribing to my channel because I have a a lot more tech accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with the Tech Reviewer with the Spec Presidio 2 Armor Cloud case for iPhone 11. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.